Hi there and welcome to our next video on fractions. In this video, we're going to be looking at some exam questions related to this topic. So let's get started. Our first exam question states, here are some fractions. Which two fractions are equivalent to a half? So let's write down a half. Remember, a half is equivalent. So the numerator is half the denominator. So let's circle the numbers where the numerator is half the denominator. So two quarters. 9 18th and those would be our two fractions which are equivalent to a half so two quarters and 9 18th and that will get you two marks in a class there are 12 girls and 18 boys what fraction of the girls um were of the class are girls give your answer in its simplest form so if there's 12 girls and 18 boys let's total the total of the class so the class would be equal to 12 plus 18 that would be equal to 30 so we know our class has um, students of 30 what fraction of the class are girls so 12 are girls so 12 out of 30 are girls but we need to simplify our answer let's divide both of our sides by 2 that will get you 6 15 Sorry, 6 15th can be simplified even further. Divide it by 3, which will get you 2. And divide the bottom by 3, which will get you 5. It would be 2 fifths. Okay, next question. Write the number 5.4 as a mixed number. So 5.4, well, we have 5 whole numbers and we have 4 tenths. So let's simplify that. 5 and 2 fifths. That would be our answer. And that will get us one more. Okay, Jasper feeds his dog two thirds of a can of dog food each day. Work out how many cans of dog food are eaten each week. Give your answer as a mixed number. So if two thirds are finished every day, how many cans are going to be eaten in each week? So that's going to be seven days. So you're going to work out two thirds multiplied by seven. Remember, 7 is nothing but 7 over 1, so it would be 14 over 3. And it says, give your answer as a mixed number. This would become 4 and 2 thirds. That would be our final answer and is worth 2 marks. Next question. Work out 1 and 1 third multiplied by 2 and 2 fifths and give your answer as a mixed number. So, we can do 1 multiplied by 2, which would give us 2. And one third multiplied by two fifth, which would give us two fifteenths. Combining them together, it would give us two and two fifteenths, which would be our answer. Calculate the area of the rectangle, include suitable units. So our units are meters, so let's just put that on so we don't forget. Now remember, the area of a rectangle is the length multiplied by the width. So we have 7 ninth multiplied by 1 fifth, 7 over 45. That would be our answer because we cannot simplify that down any further. Next question. 1 and 4 sevenths divided by 1 and 1 quarter. Give your answer as a mixed number. So first of all, let's convert this to an improper fraction. So this would be 11 over 7 divided by... 5 over 4. Always remember to KFC it. Keep, you keep it and then you flip it and then you change it. Okay, so let's keep 11 sevenths. Let's change um, 4 over 5. The, sorry, let's flip 4 over fi 5 over 4 to 4 over 5 and let's change the sign. That will give us 44 over 35 and it says give your answer as a mixed number um so it would be one and it would be a remainder of um five nine over 35 and that would be our final answer next question find the output if the input is two so if the input is two over here two multiplied by three quarters that would give you 6 over 4 and then you divide your answer 
by two thirds. So caps here, six over four multiplied by three over two, that will give you 18 over eight. So we have 18 over 8 and then you change it to a mixed number which would give you 2 and 2 eighth would, would be a quarter. Find the input if the output is a half. So if the output is a half, we need to go the opposite way. A half multiplied by 2 thirds, that would be 2 sixths or 1 third. And then you divide 1 third by 3 quarters. Remember, keep flip change one third multiplied by four over three. That will give you four ninth, and that would be your final answer and would give you three marks. Next question Gregory received 2,400 pounds. He gave one third of it to, a, to his favorite charity and spent one fifth of it on a new violin. What fraction of money is left? So if he receives 2,400 pounds. That's his total, and he's uh, he's he gave one third of it to his favorite charity, so one third of two thousand four hundred, so that would be eight hundred to his favorite charity, and he spent one fifth of it, um, on a new violin. So if he gives eight hundred to a charity. How much do we have left? So we are, this is one way we can do it. 2,400 subtract 800. 1,600 we have left. So he spends one fifth of 1,600, which would be three thousand, um, sorry, 320, because 1,600 divided by five, that would be three, three hundred and twenty, um, and that's how much money he spends on his favorite charity. So how much do we have left after that? So, so, one thousand six hundred subtract three twenty, zero five, uh, eight to one thousand two hundred and eighty. So we have 1,280 left. If we were speaking of another way we could do this, we could work out 800, it's 800, then we could work out one fifth of 2,400, which would be divided by five, that would be four, 480, add 480 onto 800, that would give you 1,280. So that's how much money he spent. So if we subtracted that from our actual amount, that would give us 1,120. So that's the amount which is left. This is the amount that has been spent. The, um, the question is asking for the amount that's left. So this would be our answer. Okay, final question now. The attendance at Frome United versus Trowbridge Rovers was 8,701. Of this crowd, 5 sevenths were male. Calculate how many people were female. So if 5 sevenths of the crowd are male, then it's quite obvious that 2 sevenths of um, the crowd are female. So we need to work out 2 sevenths of 8701 so we could work that out now 8701 divided by 7 that will give us 1 2 3 4 2 3 so it will give us 1 2 4 3 and then we can multiply that by 2 that will give us 6 8 4 2 and that's our answer and that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.